Hi, I'm Mike, the CEO of The Useless Duck Company, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a machine that will let you peek at your Christmas presents way before the 25th. When I was very young, my sister and I had a method that we used to open up Christmas presents and then reseal them in a way where no one can find out that we had looked inside. The trick is you have to cut the tape in just the right way and then you can take a look and then when you put it back, you have to put the same type of tape on top and the glue from the new tape will hide the cut in the old tape. The glue will like fill up the space and then nobody knows. So that's great and it works, but you have to be really precise, which means it takes a long time to do this. And the longer it takes, the higher chance of you getting caught. So that got me thinking, what if I could go back in time and visit my seven-year-old self and give myself an invention that would help me do this really fast in a way that couldn't be detected. And I think I know the perfect design. So today I'm gonna to show you how to build your own present opener that will do it quickly and leave no evidence behind. And I'm all grown up now, but for some reason my family keeps giving me stuff, so then we're gonna use it to try to open some of these things up. So the first thing you need is a pneumatic actuator, which is an air piston. So in Canada, we get these at stores like Princess Auto. I'm sure in the States you have something similar or you could buy them online. The way they work is really simple. You just blow air in the bottom to make the piston move out. And then you blow air in the top to make the piston move back. Now, what's great about these is they move really fast and that's what we need to make our present opener. Okay, so to use this, we have to add some fittings and a couple tubes, so I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so we have everything assembled for the piston, but we still need a way to control it. So run to the garage and grab a five-way, two-position pneumatic solenoid valve, which sounds kind of complicated, but it's pretty simple. It's just a box that controls if the air is gonna go in the bottom of the piston or at the top of the piston. If we take a closer look, you can see that there's two ports for each side of the piston. And then on the other side, there's two exhaust ports, and I put silencers on these because I want to be nice and quiet so no one can hear what we're doing. And then there's a port for air intake where we're going to put the air. And this one also has a button for manual control. You can also use electricity to control this, maybe with something like an Arduino. But for this invention, we're just going to use this button. Okay, so I've got everything attached now to the controller, to the piston. Uh, now we just want to put it all together. So we'll just bring it in closer. And I'm going to use a zip tie just to hold it against the piston. Then everything will be nice and compact. Okay, so there we go. That's the controller connected to the piston with the tubes. And we've got a nice little trigger button here. So when we wanna open the gift, we just have to press on that. Okay, so now that we have all this assembled, let's stop for a second and talk about safety. So air pistons move really fast. And this whole contraption looks kind of strange, but really it's just like a bicycle pump in reverse. And all we're gonna to use to power this is air. And if you look really close at the end where the piston moves, you'll notice that it has a stopper inside to prevent you from getting your finger pinched here. So really this is about as safe as it can get. So we're just about done. There's only one step left. So what you want to do is go ahead and take a hot glue gun and put a glob of glue uh, right on the end. And then you want to go ahead and add a four inch razor blade uh, just right on the end there. And you want to angle it a little bit because we want to come at the tape uh, at a bit of an angle. So kind of like that, like maybe 45 degree angle. Now, if you feel like it, you can also add just a little bit of extra glue. Okay, so there we go. Now we have our own custom tool that can be used to open presents really fast. So let's wait until the middle of the night and then try it out. Okay guys, so it's midnight and my family is asleep. The first step you gotta do to use this invention is plug in your air compressor. Okay, now that the compressor is on, you just take the air line and then hook it up. There you go. 
Once it gets to about 100 PSI, it should shut itself off. Okay, so the compressor has reached 100 PSI. So if I press the button, we can see everything's working. So let's open a gift. Okay, so I'm just gonna slip the knife under the paper here, and then you press the button. Okay guys, so that one's open. Let's see what we got. So there you have it guys, everything worked great. It actually made me really happy just putting it together and thinking about Christmas. So if you're ever feeling sad, this might be the perfect invention for you. The air powered present opener, another invention from the useless duck company.